All right, welcome back to CEO Money. I'm Tommy Habib, and we got a special guest in the house, Patrick Lindstrom from Kelly's Delight Liquid Sugar. This is my favorite segment because it means I get sweet goodies. Uh, it's the ultimate product for cereal, coffee, iced tea. You don't have to wait for it to melt because it's already liquid. It's liquid sugar. Patrick Lindstrom, how are you, my friend? What's up, my friend? How you doing, Tommy? <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, so your product is definitely in my household. Uh, I love iced tea, so a little shot of that. And it, would it be bad if I said there's nothing better when you're making a margarita just to kind of top it off with a little liquid sugar? Uh, I think that's a fair statement if I've ever heard a fair statement, my friend. <laughs> so, Patrick, um, and we're going to get into the liquid sugar thing, uh, the story is is quite a story patrick you're a you're you are the ultimate american dream you are an entrepreneur you went to business school kind of tell me that that the road because so many of our listeners they're young entrepreneurs old entrepreneurs they people that want to start a new business they're unhappy where they are they have an idea what do they do what did you do inspire us Awesome. Well, Tommy, thank you for the uh, introduction. I really appreciate that. Uh, a little history from me. I actually did my undergrad at Oral Roberts University, and it was in theology. So uh, it, perfect transition into business. Uh, <laughs> but we, I started there and uh, wanted to go and get a Master's of Divinity, which is an MDiv degree, more study of theology. And while I was in seminary, I uh, thought to myself, you know, man, I don't know if, A, you're, you're gaining a lot of debt, you're putting that on your family, and I didn't know if I wanted to be uh, a minister who brings all this debt to a church and that whole thought process, and I thought, you know, this just, it, it doesn't seem right. And while I was in seminary, the idea of a liquid sugar company just came to me, and so I knew I didn't know anything about business at that point, so I just grabbed every business book I could find, and I read it and read it and read it, and this is 2007. 2008, and I see what's happening to the market, and I say, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. So I took all my credit card companies uh, or credit cards and called the companies and just uh, raised all the limits, and I, I maxed it out, thought I was doing the right thing, and took it all out and went out and had somebody develop the formula for the liquid sugar, uh, didn't realize how easy it could have been, and spent so much money there, and uh, it, I made a lot of mistakes, but at the end of the day, I was able to get the product into uh, a local H-E-B, uh, which is here in Texas, as you know, and I got it in the H-E-B into 100 stores there, and then somehow I was able to get it into 600 Walmarts and then into all the H-E-Bs and then to all the Walmarts and then into Target and just kind of uh, steamrolled from there. Okay, and you just steamrolled over us because I back this puppy up a little bit. <laughs> so you were – Okay, you really rolled the dice, and so many people do that today. And it is pretty scary when you put it when you put everything on the line, and you ramp up your credit cards. But you got the ultimate education. You did it. You got your hands dirty. You got in there and made that happen. But how scary was that? I mean, there had to be tough, tough days. We're going to get to the wonderful days of Walmart and Target and <laughs> HEB. Well, let's talk about those early days where the reality of life is, and you're sitting Absolutely. there, and were you married at the time? Yeah, my, uh, my beautiful wife, Kelly, uh, we, we were married after undergrad, as, as you know, the product called Kelly's Delight, so if you're going to get into a lot of debt, you better name the business after your wife, <laughs> uh, so hopefully that'll save you a little bit. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, the, the risk-reward is, as an entrepreneur, you you don't want to bet as in a bad bet, as in a lotto ticket bet, but you do want to wager, right? You do want to have your chips all in if you feel like it's the right bet. And uh, it's a risk reward kind of thing. And, and for me, I remember being at home and, and knowing I spent over $120,000 trying to launch this business and max out everything I had. And I couldn't see any business coming in. And I am in my room, just praying, God, what am I doing? Am I doing the right thing? Is there, I mean, how can I get out of this mess? And at some point you have to stop, you have to pause, 
and you have to be patient. You know, don't spin that wheel and don't in, in, in every direction and, and not have a purpose, not have a cause on where you're going. So, yes, there was a lot of risk at, at, at many different points of this journey. And uh, but I kept remembering and telling myself, look, there's a re- risk and there's a reward and in, in, in you have to measure correctly. You have to understand what you're doing so that you can move forward uh, with purpose and aim. And probably having the support of your family helped a little bit. Oh, having my wife, um, just her breathing, uh, and, and just saying it's going to be okay, uh, makes a world of a difference. Uh, it, it, it definitely is, is the difference between succeeding and not succeeding is knowing that your family's there. Okay. So you're at home, you've been killing yourself. You got it into some of the HEB stores. The biggest gorilla on the block comes knocking and says, hi, I'm Walmart. We want Kelly's Delight. What did that feel like? Uh, well, it was interesting because when we first got Kelly's Delight in the Walmart, uh, I, was, I was so elated. I was so excited. But at the same time, about four weeks before we were supposed to start, uh, before we were supposed to go into Walmart, I had a co-packer. So I had somebody else packing my product. Well, they decided that they weren't going to pack our product anymore. And I, I was sick. Uh, and actually, I was at a convention in, in, in Fort Worth at this moment, and I'm sitting there just getting nauseated, and I, I found out there was a bottler in Fort Worth, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go out, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the bottler and, uh, and you know, have them run my product. So I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, I have somebody driving me, and uh, I'm like throwing up out the window because I'm so nauseated, and they're like, you want me to pull over? And I'm like, no, man, just keep driving, let's get there. And uh, I was doing everything I could to make sure we were not going to be late on this product. And yes. what happened is that person couldn't even run it, so we ended up taking it to North Carolina. And a miracle happened where we were able to get a new bottle, a new cap, a new label, a new uh, new cases, and we were able to deliver the product in time. So sometimes you get to those crunch moments, and sometimes you get to those crunch moments, and uh, and uh, you know you just yeah. have to you just have to make it. You have to fight through it. Listen. I could talk to you forever, and I've got to have you back on the show because I want to hear more about what else you're doing. Your story is amazing, and you've gone beyond just Kelly's delight. You're actually teaching entrepreneurial classes, and and uh, you've got your own facility now. But really quick, uh, it's Patrick Lindstrom, Lindstrom from Kelly's Delight Liquid Sugar. You can find it at Walmart, Target. Uh, where else? Uh, H-E-B, and we, we do a lot of business to business, so... Uh, if you're manufacturing anything on a large volume, you can absolutely reach out to us, and we can supply that as well. That's it. Kelly's Delight. Kelly'sDelight.com. It's Patrick Lindstrom. Thank you so much for being on the show, Patrick. Thanks, my friend. Take care, Tommy. Okay, bye-bye.